Hey guys, and welcome to Make Something Mondays. Uh, today, huh, I'm going to wrap a gift. My previous craft, I got all messed up. So I'm having to improvise. And I'm going to just do a little bit of gift wrapping. And I'm not a great gift wrapper, so this is truly for uh, those who either don't think that they can gift wrap or just are not very good at gift wrapping but you really want to make it look different so basically that's all I'm going to do I have taken off the wrap that my daughter had on the present initially and now I'm going to do a different paper I like this paper better we just got this one and it matches my Christmas tree oddly enough so I'll go ahead and start doing the basic wrapping stuff Okay, so let me go ahead and get started with the basic stuff, and that would just be the stuff that everybody does. Okay. And please ignore my hideous fingernails. And I'm still old school using this scotch tape instead of the whole little pull-up stuff, so you can use both fingers and all that other kind of mess. I'm going to stick with the old stuff because I got a bunch of that free one year and it's still floating around. Alrighty. And I'm, I'm one of those people that will overtake your gift also. So, just a warning. Okay. So, like I said, I am not a good gift wrapper. But this whole project is to give the illusion that you're a great gift wrapper, not necessarily make you a great gift wrapper. So straight lines and stuff like that are just not necessary at all. There's plenty of tape, obviously, because I'm a tapeaholic. Oh, and I need to get better tape because this is crazy. And then I have peekers. I have those kids that go under the Christmas tree and they want to shake, rattle, roll, punch, accidentally tear every gift that they find underneath the Christmas tree. Okay, so this is my favorite part of gift wrapping. You got all this excess paper on the end because you don't want to try to fold that because it's just not going to be pretty. So just come in and cut it. Go ahead and get some of this excess cut off. Like I said, doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be straight. See the jagged edge. Ooh, definitely not going for perfection here. Now, I had a little bit of excess. Rather than trim that, tuck it down into the box. Now, straighten up the sides here. And fold and fold and you don't have to use as much tape as I use but like I said I have people who peek if you're gonna be giving this to like a friend or something like that then don't don't use a lot of tape because tape can make your present really really ugly Alrighty, and you can either leave it pointed like that or you can fold it. I typically fold mine just because that's what I want to do. So, and there I go over taping again. And I'm going to, like, here, you don't need this tape. I do because my son will come in and lift, and I need to be able to figure out where he's been looking and what he's been looking at. So, that's the present, right? That's the basics. Typically, you would throw on one of those little store-bought bows or something like that, but we're not going to do that today. 
Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Like I said, keep these. They're going to come in handy. Let me grab my cutter. And my blade is dull. I'm not sure if it'll even cut anything. So I'll have to look and see. I'm going to test it out on here and see if it's even in a cutting mood. Okay. Yeah, it's not in a cutting mood at all. Oh well, this is where a good exacto knife or what have you would come in handy. Because Can't even get this thing to work for me. Something. That'll be alright. It's not going to be perfectly straight, but who needs perfect? And if you have one of these boards, you can go for perfect since you have like the ruler here. Then you can always do that, but not a must. Definitely not a must. Okie Oh, check that one up, didn't I? Okay. Do you see? Those slits. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do with those. We'll take and curl. Oh, be gentle. We'll take and curl them just like you would ribbon. See, just like that. Alrighty. This is so much cheaper than going and buying the bows. Alrighty. Okay. So I'm going to take my cutter and I'm going to do some more cutting. Let me, you know what, turn it the other way. Oops. Yep. Messed that up. There's a dent in my board somehow. I have no idea why. But... There we are. So I'm going to get these little strips pulled apart and then I'll show you what we'll do. Okay, so I have my strips cut. And see, it's just, you know, none of the strips are the same size or anything. It's nothing perfect. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Um, I was thinking of doing just a corner of the box. But maybe doing the center might be easier for you to kind of envision. Mm. No, let's, let's wing it. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I went ahead and tore off some pieces of tape. And taped them to the end of my table. And I should not have put that tape on there yet. But, you know, you live and you learn. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm aiming for pretty much just the corner of the box. And this is the bottom of the box. So it doesn't matter that it's going to be really, really ugly with tape and all that kind of stuff. Okay. You can do this. Out. You can always do this at an angle. Um, which is probably what I should have done for this video. And then you just drape it across like that. Just however you want it to look. Okay. Oops. Sound like I went too far. Okay. <laughs> so, there we go. I'm going to cut off the excess because it looks like I'm going to have a lot of it.
think I'm going to just take this one back off all together because it's in a bad spot. Just tear it off. Okay. And I think I'll have one more that comes about in here. So I'll go ahead and tape you down. Uh, this has got to look like so crazy. It's like, ew, you're making the bottom of that box so hideous. And I am, but who opens up the bottom of the box? No one. Okay. So, now you're just going to take this. And you can do this with different color tissue paper. It would probably be a lot better than just using one color. So, like, if you had uh, blue tissue paper that matched this box or silver or something that matched and you would want to do that but you're just going to weave it in like a basket weave and your it doesn't matter if your strip sizes vary because I know mine will I kind of like the imperfect look of that and don't worry about the ugly edge here because I have a solution for that also. So you have that going that way, just like that, okay? You can leave it just like this if you want, and just tape it down over the box. Okay, that's the prop here. All I want is really to have that nice little weave pattern. So, cut it very close. Okay, I'm going to start here, and like I said, don't worry about this end looking all ugly, and you'll know exactly why in a moment. Now, for this piece right here, try to get it to be as even as possible, so you can use that one piece of tape to hold that part down, but... I don't know if you can tell with this. I probably should have used a more vibrant colored um, a more vibrant colored wrapping paper. Probably would have shown you a little bit better what I was doing here. Okay, so then we take the last three end pieces here. You can let them drape over. You can cut them so they'll fit. I probably should have went ahead and did this in the middle of the box also. Definitely would have given you a better insight. But it's done now. Okay. So right now that's just looking like an ugly band-aid. Right? Okay. Great. <laughs> it's supposed to look like one. And I can actually get one more piece of tissue paper underneath here all right okay okay having a really bad craft day because 
Nothing I do is looking great today. I had a not so great video before and ran out of the supply I was using. Yay me. Okay. So, we've got this all done. Now it's time for the curls. And more tape. Alrighty. So see these curls that I left all bridged together? This is why I left them all bridged together. I'm just going to tape over the curls. It doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Buy better tape. Believe me. Buy better tape. This cannot be from my scotch tape stash because it is not good at all but just take all your end pieces hold your finger there to hold them down and see how many you can get on there before you have to use a piece of tape curls that I'm going to tape on here and this will be fun for like a, a little kid to do then it makes it look like they've done a really professional looking job and of course you can always leave off the tissue paper look which I should have done for this gift if I wasn't going to use more than one color because it's really cute with more than one color but since I didn't use more than one it didn't come out as planned but there you are and if you have a curl that needs to be recurled Again, very gentle. Just let it slide through your thumb and your scissors. And it's still a little long. Okay. So that's how I repurpose my extra wrapping paper and avoid buying ribbons. <laughs>